Hello and welcome to Tactical Tour. I am Heath Hayes. Just got out of the gym. Now I'm sitting in sitting in front of work, uh, just kind of waiting. And uh, you know, I've, just, I've got my Bible here, kind of reading. Um, and there's an idea that kind of stands out with me right now. <laughs> And it's essentially that the father will, oh, it's, it's kind of a theme throughout the Torah, but the father prospering his people in the land that they shall, or in the place where he takes them, right? I believe I'm here by the father uh, in this specific location this specific uh, geological place right um, but anyways like what that said uh, it says in Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 therefore you shall guard the words of this covenant to do them and do them so that you prosper in all that you do. That's a part of the blessing of the Most High, right? That as you obey, as you keep and obey the words of the Most High, you, you keep the covenant that He has established between Himself and you and I as individuals, you and I as uh, the house of Israel as a whole right that he would prosper us in all that we do and I would submit to you that part of that keeping and obeying the commands is your own mentality you know because Oh, how do I say it? Uh, people can have a self-destructive uh, behavior, right? To where they are inside their own heads so much so that it causes them to... kind of break down, break down the situations around them, you know, to where things could be really good, but because of their own perception and their own mentality, it kind of uh, causes them to self-destruct, I guess. You know, what is your mentality? Are you prospering in the place where the Father has put you? Are you keeping and obeying the commands? You know, because if if your mentality is that, you know, so-and-so's out to get you or whatever the case may be, you know, like I really don't know your situation. I can only speak for my own. And I, I say this out of the idea that I have actually had a mentality shift as well to where it's come to my attention that, or the father kind of placed it in my attention that, hey man, I put you here. Now prosper. <laughs> it's like, you're, I'm all, he's telling me like, I'm already doing the commands, right? I'm already keeping his covenant. I am in covenant with the people I'm around and I am in covenant with the Most High. So, prosper. Just do it. Just, I will bless the work of your hands. And if you read through, uh, oh shoot, Deuteronomy chapter 30, let me find it real quick. Uh, let's see, 30 verse, verse 8, and I'll just continue. You shall turn back and obey the voice of Yahuwah and do all his commands which I command you today. And Yahweh your Elohim 
shall make you have excess in all the work of your hand and the fruit of your body and the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of the ground for you. For Yahuwah turns back to rejoice over you for good as he has rejoiced over your fathers. If you obey the voice of Yahuwah your Elohim to guard to do his commands and his laws which are written in the book of the Torah. For if you turn back to Yahuwah with or your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being. For this command I am commanding you today. It is not too hard for you, nor is it too far off. Like he, he literally says here in verse 9 that he shall make us to have excess in all the work of our hands and in the fruit of our bodies and the fruit of our livestock. He wants to prosper us. And this is not a... a you know a prosperous message uh, so to speak this is not a Joel Alstein feel-good message right this is a like hey get your crap together if you're in a place be in a place with purpose <clears throat> if the father has placed you where you are then be purposeful in the place where you are so that the Most High can bless you. There are blessings all around you, but if your mentality is keeping you from seeing it, that's a problem and you need to fix you. And I say this because I'm, I'm going through this as well, right? I need to fix me. What did I do? I got into the gym. Again, praise y'all, man, because I've been craving it. Um, I'm... I'm Get, I'm really getting my self-discipline back, right? So I'm doing the things that I need to do. I'm <clears throat> showing up and working harder and being more purposeful at work. Um, <clears throat> I'm wanting and desiring and trying to be more purposeful with the relationships of the people that I have around me the people whom I love, and more importantly, my children. Being more purposeful with the relationship that I have with my children. Um, you know, changing the tone and the way I say things to my children. Um, kind of in the idea that, like, you know... My children do not have to bear the burden that I bear, right? I don't want them to. So I'm not going to speak to them in a manner that would cause them stress or anxiety or questioning, right? Because um, I've dealt with that in the past. <laughs> and it is something that I am aware of. So I have to be conscious of this. But within that same mentality, uh, if you let that mentality overtake you, you begin on a path of self-destructive behavior to where, you know, what's the idea? Self-destructive, meaning you're, de you're destroying everything around you because of what you think. See, Scripture talks about, Paul actually talks about, you know, you, we're, we're supposed to think about what is beautiful, what is pleasant, what is noteworthy, what are, what are things that are worthy of praise. That's what we need to be thinking on. See, because you are required to control your mind. We have thought, we have logic, we have reasoning. And these are wonderful things that the Father has blessed us with the ability to do so that our emotions can be kept in check. Okay? So, control the emotion. Control the mind. Because if you let the mind wander, I, get, I would submit to you that is a sin because you're being passive. Control your mind. Use logic. Use reason. And bear with one another in love. 
if there's people around you who are pissing you off. Because, hey, I mean, there's people around me who piss me off. Right? <laughs> it happens. We're never going to be without that, right? It is what it is. But your mentality, you can control that with sound logic, with reason, with love. Bear with one another and love. Paul's really only talking about the second great command, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, but that dude can be an a-hole or that dude this, that dude that. He thinks he knows what he's talking about. She thinks she knows me. What? I don't know. I don't care. But you can control how you respond. And that's the main point. So control yourself control your mentality operate in love bear with one another work and keep and obey the commands of the most high so that he may bless you in the land where you possess because he wants to he said so just some thoughts guys don't be self destructive um, <clears throat> get out of your own way Use thought, use, use logic and reason to your benefit. That's all I've got. Um, yeah. Guys, uh, Trumpets is right around the corner. Um, I should probably do a quick study for you guys so I can release that. Or, uh, you know, give you guys the idea of what Trumpets is. And then we have the highest of holy days, Atonement not too far away into next week. Monday is Trumpets. Uh, I believe it's either Shabbat or Sunday is uh, might be Monday. Either way, Atonement, uh, High Holy Day. And then Sukkot, right around the corner, man. So things, the fall feasts are hitting. Things are going to start changing. We're coming into the fall. Super excited about all of this. But anyways, I'll digress from all of that. Bless you. I love you. Change your thoughts. Change your mentality. Change your mindset. Better yourself. Allow the Father to prosper the work of your hands. And bless you. Shalom.